Thousands of hectares of forest in New South Wales has been transformed into a new multi-million dollar ecotourism and adventure park. Located on the edge of the Blue Mountains, the project also celebrates the end of a decades-long battle to safeguard the local environment from mining. 30,000 hectares of National Park, one of the state's most unique natural landscapes, home to Aboriginal archaeological sites, rare wildlife and soon our newest eco-adventure experience. We've seen the Temple of Doom, we've seen the Lost City. This is Indiana Jones stuff. Boasting the country's longest zip line, rock climbing, 35 kilometres of BMX tracks and even bipartisan support. It's good the job's finally being done. We fully support it. We need to protect our national park infrastructure. You sit there and you think, how has this taken so long? The $50 million announcement also marks the end of an almost 90-year fight, a cause for celebration for conservationists. First envisaged this area in 1934 as part of the Greater Blue Mountains National Park, so this is the last bit of that great vision. Young and old, including Leo Williams, a little local determined to defend the park from the potential impacts of coal mine expansions. Although the government hasn't ruled out applications to extend nearby underground mines in the future. Declaring this Gardens of Stone as a state conservation area gets that balance right. It supports the local economy and sets us up for a future where we're diversifying this region and creating new opportunities. It's expected this adventure experience will attract more than 200,000 visitors to the local area every year. It's set to open to the public in early 2023. It's a great outcome for conservation. It's a great outcome for the community and for tourism.